Hey, it's time to dish with tea. That's me. Thank you for going on this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Tuesday, and Tuesday on the, in this channel is what I eat in a day. Counting calories, macros, and WW points. I'm going to sell you right here. There's not a lot of food on this video. It's been a week. It's been a week here because Timmy was ordained a transitional deacon. He's been home. It's been bust, 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 bust. So, not a lot of filming. I mean, I didn't track really well. I did eat mindfully. I didn't sit there and eat my face off. But tracking was a bare minimum. And it was just a lot of running around. And there's really no time to pick up the camera. Because sometimes family comes first. Sometimes. So, but I will show you what I had. There is a couple of tastings on here as well. So, that's always fun. So, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you are new here, welcome. I am Denise. We talk all things healthy lifestyle in this channel. So, without further ado, let's roll some of that food footage. Having a girl, little girl lunch today. I have carrots, chips, radish, cucumber, deli turkey, a meat stick, a string cheese, homemade hummus, which I did make with tahini, not yogurt, so it's not zero point hummus. And I have about a half a pita bread. So my lunch comes to eight Weight Watcher points, 351 calories, 34 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, and 13 grams of fat. Be my girl lunch today. Breakfast this morning is a chicken sausage mushroom. I think that was all was in there. <laughs> chicken sausage mushroom, uh, one egg, and a quarter cup of egg white scramble, topped with a tablespoon of crumbled light feta cheese, and some new to me microgreens from a local farm on top. So that comes to two Weight Watcher points, one for my sausage, one for my feta, 187 calories, six grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein, and nine grams of fat. And that's my breakfast this morning. How pretty. I had a mini naan with a chicken thigh and some sweet potatoes roasted. I didn't track again, but I think it was a well-balanced plate and very good in points and calories, and I kept those servings. So definitely very good for intuitive eating, and I think I did really, really good. But just wanted to show you that sometimes we can't always count. Breakfast this morning is a half of a homemade Rise and Shine Suburban Homestead English Muffin with a tablespoon of my new favorite jam, Good Good. I am obsessed with this jam. I tried the Chia Smash everybody raves about. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was too thin for me. This, my lovelies, is what it's about. And you get two tablespoons for one point five calories per tablespoon and it is phenomenal vegan gluten-free keto friendly made with natural sweeteners it's fantastic i get it on nutrition i've never had black currant and i i'm hooked so yes i think i've you know been obsessed with this jam and i have three quarters of a cup of egg whites with some mushrooms two asparagus spears a little mini bell pepper and some onion so my breakfast comes to four points. It's three for my English muffin, one for my jam. 190 calories, 23 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, and seven grams of fat. So that is my breakfast this morning. I have to go help my husband at his office. I'm not thrilled about it. So I needed something quick, and this is what is on the menu this morning. So I'm going to eat, grab, jump in the shower, and run. One of the no tracks, I had two soft shell tacos with ground chicken, beans, veggies, and a little bit of corn dip. They are the low carb tortillas, the La Banderitas and the taco size. So I know I came well within my points and calories, but that was what was for dinner. Just wanted to show you that's how you balance. All right, here's a little girl lunch today. Cucumbers, radishes, carrot chips, homemade hummus with a little eggplant on top, string cheese, two hearts of palm, and some turkey. It comes to four Weight Watcher points, 276 calories, 23 grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat is my lunch today. As I had that bar, I'm not quite starving, but I definitely need a little something something. So that is my lunch. All right, brought my snack with me. This is a five point Aloha bar. It is 220 calories, 15 grams of, 14 grams of protein. Um, 23 grams of carbs. It is the maple and sea salt. So, so I had like breakfast, so I need a little something, something. So, call me my snack today. Ooh. 
working. <laughs> Don't get used to this. Breakfast this morning is a breakfast Mexican scramble. I have leftover taco chicken from last night with a little bit of black beans. I have three quarters of a cup of egg whites, mushrooms, asparagus, onion, topped with some jalapenos, some tomatoes, and some queso fresco cheese. So it comes to 192 calories, five grams of carbs, 29 grams of protein, five grams of fat, and let me think. <laughs> um, I had the Weight Watcher points. I believe it's four Weight Watcher points for the queso fresco. And there was something else I had to get. The chicken was not zero point chicken. And that's it. So it should be four points. Three or four points, give or take. But we'll do four just to make sure. And that's my breakfast this morning. Oh, those jalapenos. I'm going to dig in. And Belly's not happy. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? I hauled this from Target. Target. These are flings. I saw Lisa Lillian recommend these, and my friend Allison said we should try them. So, one gram of sugar, five grams of net carbs, 10 grams of protein, four Weight Watcher points, and 150 calories. And it looks just like a Pop Tart. Icing smells insane. I just lightly toasted it. You can heat it in the microwave. They did recommend putting butter on it. Oh, that sounds interesting, so. Ooh, look at, the, look at the ooze. So, you know I'm all about the ooze. This is really good. Five out of five. I love these. These would definitely be a repurchase for me. Yum. Lunch today is a protein tuna bowl. I have a can of bumblebee solid white albacore with a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I have some of these um, organic sprouts I got at a local vendor. Carrot chips, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, pickle. This is a little hummus that is not mine, homemade, it's store-bought, and two hearts of palm. So it comes to four Weight Watcher points for the hummus and the mayonnaise. 313 calories, 19 grams of carbs, 39 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat is my lunch today. My little girl lunch in this cute little bowl. I did a collab with these guys over Christmas. I love this bowl. It's perfect size for a nice little girl lunch bowl. So I'm going to go enjoy this lovely lunch. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? I hauled this at Target in my vlog. This is the ginger lime poppy. You can get individual poppies at Target. I thought I've never had the ginger lime. And this is a probiotic soda. It has 20 calories. It just scans at one point, but you know, it's worth the point to me. And this is out of all the probiotic sodas. This is the one, or prebiotic, sorry, prebiotic sodas. This is my favorite brand. Let's see if I like the ginger lime. It's gingery, it's limey, it's perfect. With a little, some ice and a, and a slice of lime sitting. You can put it in a wine glass and you can have a little cocktail. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. I really like this one. I do. I may have to get a case of this. Five out of five. Good job, Hoppy. Breakfast this morning, or more like brunch this morning, is a veggie hash. I only have onions, zucchini, spinach, mushrooms, and one tablespoon of corn. And I have an egg and a third cup of egg white topped with some nutritional yeast. I'm going to put some hot sauce, I forgot. And a light English muffin from Thomas's with two tablespoons of good, good jam. That comes out to three Weight Watcher points. 294 calories, 37 grams of carbs, 27 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat. Oh, I'm starving. I don't know what, how it got to be this late, but I'm going to go rectify that right now. 
Breakfast this morning is half a serving of strawberry cheesecake stuffed French toast. This time I put cottage cheese in there instead of, I think I put yogurt before, but I put a quarter cup of cottage cheese, one slice of six four seven bread, one egg, two tablespoons of milk, a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, a little bit of strawberry extract, some fresh strawberries. I believe that's it. <laughs> it comes to two Weight Watcher points, 176 calories, 19 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein, and six grams of fat. I will also top some more fresh strawberries on top because, you know, why not? So that's my breakfast this morning. Looks so good. If I'd used whipped cottage cheese, you wouldn't see those curds. They don't bother me, but if they bother you, then you could absolutely whip your own cottage cheese and you won't even see that. It would just be more blended. I did add a serving of powdered peanut butter. I only added another point and 45 calories, a little bit more carbs, a little more protein, but I thought strawberry and peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, you know, it's just sounded good to me. Plus I had the calories and points for it, so let's dig into this deliciousness. You love strawberries? Don't like paying a high price for no sugar added jam or sugar-free jam? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own with just strawberries. To make our jam, you need a pound of ripe strawberries. Usually they come in a clamshell in your local store, just like this. Rinse them, drain them, and we will chop the tops off and dice the strawberries. Just like that, but don't throw away your tops. You can collect your tops, mix it with some white vinegar, and make your own strawberry vinegar. All right, get your strawberries in a pot. Have it a moderate heat and let's break these bad boys down after about five minutes you see that your strawberries start to break down and the juices release when it's bubbling away use lower to very low heat let it simmer and bubble away to get to the consistency that you like tell me about another 10 minutes this consistency is the one that i prefer again this has been going for about 25 minutes, very low, and your jam is done. I'm going to let mine cool off and we'll put it in a container. And there you have your finished strawberry jam. This will last week to 10 days in the fridge, never lasts that long for us. You could absolutely double this if you wanted to. You could freeze this if you wanted to. It would be fantastic. So there's no sugar in this. No sugar added, it's just the sweetness of the strawberries. And this one I didn't add any water to because I think it was plenty. And look how nice and thick. Let's not waste those strawberry tops. Let's make some strawberry simple syrup with three simple ingredients. Heavy pot, we put our strawberry tops, equal parts of water. And I use Lakanto monk fruit, half cup of each Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. That's the best one. Some of the sugar substitutes do not work in this, but Lakanto does. And you mix it together in there and let it simmer till the sugar dissolves completely. Alrighty, our simple syrup. The sugar has dissolved into the water and it came to a simmer. I'm going to let this steep with the strawberry tops till it is completely cool. Then we will drain those off and we will put our simple syrup in a jar. I'm gonna drop a little bit of vanilla just in there to make a strawberry flavored vanilla simple syrup. You drain your tops, your strawberries and your simple syrup into a jar, dispose of the tops, and there you have your strawberry infused to simple syrup. No sugar or sugar-free simple syrup, as a matter of fact. This lasts for quite a while in the fridge and it's absolutely delicious. Add a teaspoon of your strawberry simple syrup to sparkling water and you have strawberry sparkling water genius and so tasty because it adds a little sweetness to your seltzer mm. oh. actually i'm having san pellegrino so what a hit that is it hope you enjoyed seeing a few of the snippets that i had this week and if you, I think I mentioned that. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, that's what I want to say. Do you want to share Dish with D, the Healthy Lifestyle channel? So I also have a second channel called Discoveries with D where everything else happens there. So if you're interested in fun footage, check out Discoveries with D. It's always linked in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit, um, if you, if there's anything there you'd like to try, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from it, from you. 
told you it's been a week. So I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your day.